Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance and optimize your frame drops and input latency in Minecraft. So guys, I hope this video helps you out. Make sure to leave a like and do leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC. Once you are here, click on the gaming section, go to game bar and make sure that your game bar is turned off. Game bar uses a lot of memory in the background which will ultimately perform your gaming experience. Now go back to gaming, go over to game mode and enable game mode. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get better performance and it also turns off the unwanted notification pop-ups that disturbs your gaming experience. And now once you're done with that, simply close your settings and let's move to step number 2 that is de-animating your windows. It is super essential step and for that you need to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here simply click on adjust for best performance, select on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will make your windows look intact but will disable all of the unnecessary and unwanted animations that uses your computer that uses a lot of processing in the background. Before moving on, I'd like to introduce you guys to Ultraplex Hosting. They provide easy game hosting, VPS, web hosting, bot hosting, and technician services. And this very world is hosted on Ultraplex as well. Their servers are insanely optimized and I'm genuinely happy with their servers since they are very affordable and high quality. You can not only host Minecraft, but other games such as Gary's Mod, GTA, Terraria, Rust.io, Factorio, and other games too. And if you use code BearFox25, you can get an additional 25% off on your first purchase. So make sure to go check out Ultraplex, links are in the description below. Next step is changing your power plan and doing so will also make sense. Simply open up control panel on your PC and then look over for power options. Now once you are here, simply select ultimate performance or high performance if that is available for your PC. The ultimate performance and high performance power plan, both of them utilizes most of your PC scores that can help you to get better performance and optimal results whenever you're playing the games. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, then look over for local disk C or any drive with says system. Simply click on create and name it Minecraft. Doing so is really important and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Creating a restore point always makes a system image file in the background that you can always use to revert every settings back to the original ones without any data loss. Now next step is using Minecraft low end FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. And if you guys face any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Simply open this pack up and you will find in four simple folders. First one is the PC optimization where you will find CPU priority. You need to run AMD or Intel CPU priority. Now if you use an AMD CPU, run the AMD CPU priority. If you use an Intel CPU, run the Intel CPU priority. Then then run the increased power efficiency and that will help your PC a lot. Second folder is the RAM optimization and over here I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. I use 32GB RAM, it could be different for you. So you need to run the RAM registry from here. Now once again if you don't like the performance you can always click on reset to default to go back to the normal settings. Third one is the game optimization and over here I have left low med as well as high med optimization and for that I'd recommend you guys to leave your computer specifications down in the comments below so I can tell you which one that you need to use from here. You also need to run the disable unnecessary services command, right click and run this as administrator so it applies every single setting to your PC. Now do not worry, all of these settings are completely safe and if you are worried about the files, you can always upload them to Wireshootle and see they are malware free. Now if you don't like the performance from here, you can always go and revert all the settings back to default from here. Last folder is the programs folder where you find quick CPU setup. You need to run this and open this application up. Now quick CPU is a very simple software that helps you to unlock the maximum performance of your processor. And since Minecraft is a processor based game, this will be really really helping you guys for the same. Once you open up the application, it should look like this. Now what you need to do is set the core parking all the way to 100% and then simply click on apply. Windows by default has this tendency to port all of the cores which are not in use in the parked state. Parked cores means that they will not be used and only some of the cores will be used whenever you are playing your games. 
Now, this could be a major drawback because all of the cores are not being used that will affect your gaming performance. If you disable the parking on your cores, that will boost your PC's performance drastically. Don't forget to click on the supply button and click on OK. So the settings are already up and running. I'd also recommend you guys to check your system power plan if it is not already set to high performance and also click on the memory button and then over here, click on clean and that will free your memory. As you guys can see, my in-use memory is now reduced and that will also give me much better optimizations whenever I'm playing the games. Now, I recommend you guys to minimize this application for the time period of the game. Lastly, how to play Minecraft. Now there are a ton of launchers that are available in the market which you can use to play Minecraft. Some of them also allows you to improve your gaming performance by some mods or some optimizations from the default settings. Now one of these launchers is Feather Client. Now this is not a sponsored segment, this is my own personal opinion. I have used a ton of Minecraft launchers and Feather Client was the one which gave the ultimately best performance. Now I will be making a video on comparing all of the best Minecraft launchers very soon. So if you guys want a video on that, do leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be making a new video on it. However, for this one, I'd recommend you guys to use Feather Client as this will give you much better optimizations. And this is completely free so you can download it for your windows. Simply open it up and install it. Now once the launcher opens up you need to log in to your account. That is for me it is my Minecraft account right over here. I have connected it. Now the options that you get in Feather Client is clicking on this button and you can select the game version that you want to play. I have chosen here the latest version and firstly it will install fabric and it will install every single thing over there and once you're done with that you can click on the mods button and over here you can browse mods and add optifine over here i have already added it optifine is really really helpful for getting more fps since it reduces a lot of game load and it will optimize your dynamics of lightning and it will give you better fps so make sure that optimize so make sure that optifine is downloaded and installed and once you're done with that you can simply launch your game to enjoy the best fps on minecraft so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button also don't forget to check out ultraplex to host your gaming servers and with all that said we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out